name is Peter Kierkewski. I want to show you how to make things faster with VBA, which is Visual Basic for Applications, and Excel. And uh, what kind of problem do we have here? Well, we've got 99,707 email addresses, uh, of which you know some of those addresses are duplicate. So, for example, in this in, in this place, those two addresses are duplicates. We want to get rid of duplicates. And, well, you could do that manually, but um, it's not, not, not wise, I think. Uh, there is much better way to do that. And um, what we are going to do is just, we are going to build a simple program. Uh, let's stick a button. Uh, let's change its caption to something more human. Let's edit that and um, what we need in the beginning is some kind of iterational function which could be function or loop for, for loop actually, for i equals 2 i equals 2 because we must start with uh, second row we are not interested with first low row so uh, i equals 2 to 99707 and next i it will repeat tasks which will which we will stick in a minute inside this function for 99707 times uh, we need two variables uh, cells i and column index will be 1 because our data is in column 1 value so it basically says if i equals 2 it means uh, that we will take value of row 2 and column 1 and we will stick it into this variable and b equals cells i plus 1 and the same column value so we are comparing uh, those two cells uh, first time the for loop is running uh, i equals 2 and th uh, i plus 1 is obviously 3 so we are comparing we are going to compare those two values and so on and so forth next time those two values and so on and so forth and to compare those two values we need if function if a equals b if a equals b uh, then and if that function is still empty if a equals b then we want to get rid of the of the next row so rows i plus 1 delete and what we must do is i equals i minus 1 why? Because we, if we are deleting the row, then we, you know, the number numbers of rows, number of rows basically shrinks, and and we must start again from the same place, and and say basically compare again that value with that value. So that's why i equals i minus one. Uh, it's pretty much ready so you can see that it's it's, it's really fast you can you can build the program like that in in several minutes um, well to visualize that we can stick i value into one of those cells to show us that it, that it's actually doing something how many um, rows were processed already 
so cells two two value equals i so it's going to show us in this in this cell um, how many rows did it already process uh, so let's hit that button and take a look how fast is it please observe this especially okay so in several seconds 1000 rows were processed uh, 2000 and so on and so forth well it takes several minutes but eventually it's finished uh, let's go to the last row it shows that several at least several hundred uh, rows were erased you know and um, well we don't have duplica duplicates anymore we can go to the first row and this way you can make things faster in, in Excel in Visual Basic well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial uh, thank you